Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue on with the theme of data summarization and rolling up data. And what I'm going to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to cover some of the other aggregation functions and show a few other techniques and things like that for things that you can do with this subject. So let's get started. Uh, you should already have these two files opened up and if you haven't paused the video and make that happen we're going to start with the aggregate underscore functions dot sql and continuing on with the uh, with the baseball database we're looking at this one is returning back a list of all the total home runs by team for the year 1927 and also doing a few other things showing some of the other functions and before we kind of get started on that, I've taken the liberty of getting the raw data for that particular team for the year 1927. So I'm returning back the, the HR column and the player ID column. And we can see, for those of you baseball aficionados out there, you'll know, that was the year uh, Babe Ruth broke the record that lasted a long time and he hit 60 home runs, Garrick hit 47, uh, Tony Lazari, I think that's his name, yeah, hit 18, Bob Musil hit 8. Uh, it was a era in baseball where there weren't nearly as many home runs hit as today but you can you can look at the raw data from the actual table itself and in doing so maybe that'll be a little more helpful as we go back to the the function query and we look at some of the things. So in that one, so so in this one what I'm doing is I'm getting an average. So what was the average by team of home runs? And I'm just rounding it out to one decimal place precision. And so you can see for the Yankees who hit the most home runs in 1927, the average divided out by each player was 6.3. Uh, I can get the max. I can, there's a max function that I can utilize and that tells me well what was the most and that was 60 and that certainly corresponds if we go back to the raw query with this number here. And you could certainly go in and add all these up, divide it by the number of players on your own to get the average and I'm also showing you the use of the standard deviation function for those of you that are familiar with standard deviation bell curves and that type of thing. So nothing really new under the sun with the exception of introducing you to the average function, the max function, there's also a min function that would be the minimum that was returned back which would return back zero which again if we go back and we look at the raw data a number of players actually had zero and you can also see in my order by that I'm ordering by using the sum function similar to what I did with the wins and losses in the in the last lesson and the last query that we did on wins and losses by team by pitcher and that. Alright so let's head on over to the uh, the aggregate underscore functions and not really introducing any new functions per se but I want to call your attention to a couple things. Um, in this one, I'm just doing a group by, I'm grouping by trade date, but I'm looking trade date by month. And you can see I'm um, over here applying the month name function so I can do the full month, display the full month. But I want to call your attention down here. You can see as I'm doing my roll up analysis that. I can apply a mathematical operation within a function. So in the case of the I'm, util, I'm utilizing the standard deviation function here but I'm utilizing the standard deviation function against the high column 
subtracted from the open column. So you can get pretty exotic, pretty complex with the functions that you're doing and expressions that you can apply to this. And this the, the and the ability to nest functions should not be something that's new to you. We've covered that in previous lessons. So there you go. Uh, that's all I have for this particular lesson. It's a rather short one. And now you have enough information between this and the previous lesson that you can go off and uh, do a hands-on exercise. So I'll see you in a little bit for your, for your last lesson. Take care. Bye.